the physics revision video for thermodynamics in this video we shall be discussing the thermodynamics in the su subject of physics but if you want to read the theory or understand the theory for it you can check out the link in the description there are two videos for the theory in the physics itself so they will be sufficient for the theory in this video i shall be focusing on the questions the only thing which you must know is that dq is equal to du plus dw for the basic questions and dw is equal to p dv if the graph of pv is given also pv is equal to nrt let us begin with the first question for the chapter so many people were asking for a question which involves graphs so my first question is related to the graphs only we have been given a v versus t graph where two moles of a mono atomic gas are taken the other data that is given is that the ratio of volume of v to the volume of d is equal to vd upon va is equal to 2 and the temperature at a point is given as 300 kelvins so we need to find that dq du and dw for the processes the four processes given so let us begin by solving it so for the process ab let us solve it so we need to decide that what kind of process it is so a to b when we go we can see that the temperature remains co uh, constant in this line so it implies that if temperature is equal to constant thus it is isothermal process so isothermal process implies that the value of du is equal to 0 why du will be equal to 0 because for ideal gases u is a function of temperature only so on the different differentiation of a constant we will be getting the value 0 Now let us solve for a to b. dQ is equal to dU plus dW. So this is equal to zero. dQ is equal to dW is equal to nRT ln v2 upon v1. As for isothermal processes, the value of work is this one. So it implies that dQ is equal to dW is equal to nRT ln v2 implies vB and v1 implies vA. So we need to find the value of VB upon VA from this given data. So let us find it. The value of VB from here is equal to two into VD. The value of VA from here will be equal to VA will be equal to VA goes here. Two comes here is equal to VD upon two. Okay. So we have found out these things. Now we will be putting these values here. So DQ. Is equal to d w is equal to n. What is n here? We have been given two moles, so n is two here. So two into r into t. What will be the temperature for the process A to B? It's very easy because it is isothermal process. So the temperature at A will be equal to the temperature at all the points on this line, which will be equal to three hundred Kelvin into three hundred into l n v b upon v a. So v b implies 2 into vd va implies vd upon 2 so this and this gets cancelled so dq is equal to dw is equal to 600 r into ln 4 so this is for the process a b let us solve for the process b to c now b to c will be what it is a constant line here which implies that the volume will be constant on this line because it is parallel to the x axis or the temperature axis so the volume is constant for this line so volume constant implies that which kind of process it is it is and it is an isochoric process so isochoric process what we have work dw is equal to pdv the basic definition of work so isochoric implies that volume is equal to constant and hence dv is equal to 0 so dw will be equal to 0 so dq is equal to du plus dw from here dw comes out to be 0 so dq is equal to du what is the value of du du is equal to n cv dt now the only mission that we need to find out is the value of dt so dt implies the temperature at c minus the temperature at b so dq is equal to du is equal to n what is n n is 2 what is cv cv implies that it is r by gamma minus 1 so what is gamma here we have a monoatomic gas for a monoatomic gas the gamma value is equal to 5 by 3 So five by three is the gamma value into dt. Dt implies Tc minus Ta. 
we know the value of ta it is 600 kelvin as given in the question we need to find the value of tc that is the temperature at c how we can find it we need to use the given data so let us see the a and d if you see this line very carefully this line which goes along here a to d you will see that it passes through the origin so if it passes through the origin the equation of the line will be somewhat like y is equal to mx okay so y is equal to mx implies that y is directly proportional to x so in these terms we can write it as v is directly proportional to t so if v is directly proportional to t it implies that what will be constant the value of pressure will be constant thus it is an isobaric process which shall be used later but presently volume is directly proportional to t so let us use this property here so volume is directly proportional to t for the process ad so from here we can derive that v1 is equal to some kt1 and v2 is equal to some kt k into t2 divide both of these v1 upon v2 is equal to t1 upon t2 now what is the volume at v1 v1 implies that we are going from a to d or d to a that won't matter because we are finding out the ratios finally so let us go from d to a only because the arrows are shown in that direction so v1 v1 implies that the volume at d so the volume at d can be taken to be equal to 2 into va so volume at v1 is equal to 2 into va what is v2 v2 implies the volume at a so that volume is equal to a only that is va t1 upon t2 is need to be find out see t1 implies the temperature at d that is not known so that will remain as p1 only what is the temperature t2 that is temperature at a so that is given as 300 kelvins so upon 300 so va va gets cancelled from here the value of t1 comes out to be 600 kelvin so a separate question can also be asked that you need to find the temperature at d so we can write it as temperature at d which will be equal to the temperature at c why because cd will be an isothermal process now let us move on to the next page so till now we have solved till here so the value of dq will be equal to du is equal to 2 r by gamma gamma is 5 by 3 minus 1 into tc minus ta tc is 600 kelvins and ta is 300 kelvins as given in the question so the value of dq is equal to du comes out to be 3 into 300 that is 900 r so this is the value of dq is equal to du which implies in the process bc now let us move on for the process cd which kind of process is this you can see that the x axis values do not change in this case so it is an isothermal process now isothermal process implies that what has to remain constant temperature has to remain constant so it implies that du will be equal to 0 because u is a function of temperature only so we have dq is equal to du plus dw from here the value of du is equal to 0 so dq will be equal to dw is equal to nrt ln v2 upon v1 so what is v2 v2 is vd what is uh, v1 that is vc so let us find these ratios from here so in the question we have been given that vb upon vd is equal to vd upon va is equal to 2 also we know that the process bc is isochoric in nature it implies that volume is equal to constant thus volume of b is equal to volume of c so it can be replaced here so what we get here is that vc upon vd is equal to 2 implies that vd upon vc will be 1 by 2 so dq is equal to dw is equal to n what is n n is 2 into r into t what is the temperature for the point c to d that is 600 kelvin into 600 into vd into ln vd upon vc that is 1 by 2 so dq is equal to dw comes out to be minus 1200 r ln 2 so this comes out for the process cd now let us solve for the process d to a let me show you the graph once again so we have this graph here 
Now for d to a, we can see we have already derived that v will be directly proportional to t because y is equal to mx. It implies y is directly proportional to x. It implies that v is directly proportional to t. Implies that p is equal to constant. So hence, it is what kind of process? It is isobaric process. So let us see to it. We know that dq is equal to du plus dw. Okay. What is du? Du is equal to n cv dt. n is equal to 2. Cv implies r by gamma minus 1 into dt. dt implies the temperature finally that is Ta minus Td. So du is equal to 2 into r by gamma is equal to 5 by 3 minus 1 into Ta minus Td. What is the temperature at A? Temperature at A is 300 kelvins. So 300 minus temperature at D that is 600 kelvins. So the value of DU comes out to be what? It comes out to be minus 900 R. So we have calculated the value for DU. Now let us calculate the value for DQ. Now the page is not required. So DQ is equal to N C process DT. What is C process? C process implies that in this case the process will imply the pressure process. So NCP dt. Now we know that Cp minus Cv is equal to R, the Mayer's relation. So Cp is equal to R plus Cv. So Cp is equal to R plus R by gamma minus 1. So Cp comes out to be gamma R by gamma minus 1. So we have to use this here. So dq is equal to n, n is 2, cp implies gamma r by gamma minus 1. Now what is dt? dt implies ta minus td that we have taken out here that is minus 300. So the value of dq is equal to just substitute the gamma values 5 by 3 here. The final answer which comes out to be the value for the dq is minus 1500 r. So this is du, this is dq. Now what will be the value of dw? Du, dq is equal to du plus dw. So minus 1500 r, it implies that minus 900 r plus dw. So dw for the process, the last process comes out to be minus 600 r. So what I've done in this question is that I've taken out the value for all the processes from A to B, from B to C, from C to D, and D to A. Now, what is the homework for you people? The homework which I wanted to do and mention in the comments as fast as you can. The question is that find DU for the whole cycle. Now, whole cycle implies that you need to go from A to B, B to C, C to D and D to A. That is from A to A once again. So, DU for the whole cycle. I want you people to find out DQ for the whole cycle. Very important question from J advanced point of view. What I want you people to do is that you go from A to B, B to C and once again to A by following all points and you need to take out the DQ, DU and DW for the whole cycle. That is the complete cyclic process. So this is the question which I want you people to do and mention in the comments below. Let us move on to the second question for the video. Now let us try to solve this interesting question from Irado. We need to find the molar heat capacity of an ideal gas in a polyprotic process. It implies that P into V raised to power N is equal to some constant K if the adiabatic constant of the gas is given to be R. So we need to find the molar heat capacity. It implies that we need to find the C process. So let us find it very properly. So we know that the value of work is equal to P dV. So the work comes out to be integration P dV. Okay. So from here, the value of P comes out to be K into V raised to power minus N. So work will be equal to K into V raised to power minus N into dV. Let us go from the value of V1 to some V2. So work comes out to be K into the integration will be V raised to power minus N plus 1 upon minus N plus 1 from V1 to V2. So work will be equal to k into, uh, we can take out 1 minus n outside because it will be a constant for any particular value of n. It will be equal to v2 raised to power 1 minus n minus v1 raised to power 1 minus n. So this is the value of work that comes out to be. But is it useful for us? Let us see to it. See, if you see very carefully here, the value of work can also be written as 
we know that uh, the value of work is basically PDV. So we shall be using it only here. Let us see that how we can use it. So we have P into the given quotient that is P into V raised to power N is equal to some constant K. So what I do is that we take the uh, volume on the other side that is K into V raised to power minus N. So P PV is equal to NRT for an ideal gas. So P comes out to be NRT by V. So let us put it here. So NRT by V is equal to K into V raised to power minus N. So from here what we can derive is that NRT comes out to be K into V raised to power V multiplied here 1 minus N. Okay. So now differentiating partially on both sides what I get is that see N is constant R is constant so it implies NR only temperature will be differentiated DT is equal to K into dv raised to power 1 minus n it implies this okay now in simple mathematics what is dt dt implies it is the difference of two temperatures so let it remain as dt what is v uh, d of v raised to power 1 minus n this will be equal to what v2 raised to power 1 minus n minus v1 raised to power 1 minus n your math should also be good in order to have a good physics so what I'm trying to derive here is that this kind of equation, let us see to it how we can derive it. So we get from here NRDT is equal to K into this thing V2 1 minus N raised to power minus V1 raised to power 1 minus N divide by 1 minus N on both sides. So 1 minus N, 1 minus N. So what I get from here basically is that this value is equal to work. So this value is equal to work from here. So this function can also be taken as the work. So what do we get from here? See from combining these two equations, the value of dW comes out to be nR dt upon 1 minus n. So this is why we need to derive the equation. So we have derived the value of work. Now let us move on further. We know that dQ is equal to du plus dW. What is the value of dq? dq implies n into c process that can change according to process into dt. What is the value of du? It remains same for the whole cycle that is n into cv into dt plus dw. What is dw? dw is n r dt upon 1 minus n. So what we can cancel? We can cancel n dt from both the sides. So cancelling it. So what I get? c process is equal to cv plus r by 1 minus n so c process is equal to cv cv implies r by gamma minus 1 plus r by 1 minus n so c process implies that taking r as common so what i get on the top of the numerator is 1 minus n plus gamma minus 1 upon gamma minus 1 into 1 minus n so cancelling 1 and this so c process comes out to be r into gamma minus n by gamma minus 1 into 1 minus n. So this is the value for any C process. A very good question can be asked to find the range of C process when it is positive or negative for a particular gamma. Now this question has been taken from Irodo. Uh, at the end of J E mains I would recommend you people to solve Irodo. I shall be giving you some particular questions so that your time is also not wasted. So what is the homework for you? The homework for you is that you need to find the answer to that question which I have given in the first part and if there are any doubts in the video you can definitely ask me in the comment section. Thank you and best of luck.